first of all, you can hear my voice? Okay? Do we right. have to make an effort? Okay, I hope so. Yeah. All right, um, many apologies first because this is not uh, actually my research at the moment. I'm not related with the US, but the topic uh, actually have influence. Pro, uh, actually, US have influence in this topic, but I not do any further research about my uh, topic right now. For, but they have uh, some scholars uh, like Dr. Carl uh, P. Watts have done some research about the U.S. influence in the relationship problems. So actually, my research is about the useful of uh, the useful or the role of summit meeting, the international summit meeting, in dealing with the international problems. So now I try to present about the useful or how successful a summit meeting the role of the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting in resolving the Rhodesia question from 1966 to 1969. Actually, my research until 1976, they have eight meetings, but for my article that I have submitted to the ICD, I scoped until three submit meetings. So what uh, I start with the definitions, what the submit meeting. The use of a uh, meeting of heads of state or head of government for diplomatic or propaganda. So, a summit can be viewed as the art of diplomacy as played out by leaders on the world stage at face-to-face -face meeting. Since the 1950s, the word summit has been widely used to describe a meetings of leaders that deal with international problems which concern the international community. By promoting negotiation, a summit meeting is seen as a venue to gain peace and unity in troubled countries. Summit meetings may have two consequences. First, it may be an opportunity for victory in achieving the settlement of problems, or secondly, it may be an event that creates misunderstanding among leaders. To analyze those possible meetings, um, the, sorry, to analyze those possible outcomes, this research, I refer to the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting. I choose the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting because um, they have a various of international summit meetings like NATO, Asians, or uh, ASEAN, like the EEC. But I choose the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting as this is the very unique of international summit that comprise the Commonwealth countries from the colonized uh, countries that from the British government or currently known as Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting which is one type of international summit that has the aim of attaining international peace and stability. Uh, this uh, summit meeting was organized by the Commonwealth Secretary and Independent Permanent Body established in 1965 which worked in collaboration with the host country and this uh, summit meeting works based on consensus. My research aim to understand the method used by the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting as an international summit meeting in reducing tension among its leaders and fostering better understanding among the Commonwealth nations. My research is significant. The importance of this research lies in its exploration of the value of the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting as a summit meeting that integrates nations through an approach based on consensus. And my research method, uh, actually the origin is based on exploration of primary, primary sources and chronological structure, which adopt an historical approach. Uh, this research problem for this international summit meeting, I study uh, for the case in Rhodesia, which is now known as Zimbabwe, from 1966 to 1979. And actually, uh, this issue was the result of a disagreement over who should control the government, and it took more than a decade to resolve for this problem. So three meetings that I highlighted here. Uh, first meeting in 1966, which uh, held in Lagos, Nigeria. The purpose for this meeting was to discuss in detail for ending the rebellion. Uh, and tried to stop the illegal regime that uh, was uh, hit by the Ian Douglas Smith, which is the white leader, and providing assistance to Zambia. 
the agenda for this meeting uh, entirely devoted for the question of Rhodesia, only one single agenda. And the discussion for this meeting uh, was tried to discuss about the solution, uh, how to deal with the Rhodesia problems. And the Rhodesia problem is uh, only uh, responsibility for the uh, British government. The communi uh, the communicate the result uh, after the discussion in the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting. The Prime Minister agreed that the radiation independence must be based on the 1965 communique that stated the principle of one man, one word as the basis of the democracy in Rhodesia. Uh, besides that, the initial action taken by Commonwealth meeting focused on the imposition of economic session without using any force. The second meeting held in London in the same year, but uh, on September 1966, and the purpose for this meeting is to stop the rebellion immediately and to review and discuss the effectiveness of the sanction that had been imposed on Rhodesia. So the agenda of this meeting again focused on Rhodesia, besides they have other international um, agenda, but the Rhodesia uh, remained as the main agenda for the 1966 meeting in London. And the discussion uh, focused over Sorry, the discussion Britain did not condemn the illegal regime but was seen as over, op, over optimistic on the effectiveness of sanction and the Commerce Sanction Committee asserted that voluntary sanction would not be enough to bring the regime down. And the result of the communique, the Prime Minister meeting reaffirmed the statement made in London communique of 1965 and repeated in Lagos again. Uh, they, the community, the result of the second uh, Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting uh, based on democracy to bring peace in Rhodesia. And the last uh, meeting held in 1969 uh, for the 1960s meeting, again in London, United Kingdom, to review uh, the purpose to review the British government action towards the Rhodesia problems. And the agenda again about the residential problems, besides they have also the international problem and Commonwealth issue. And the agenda is to focus about the Commonwealth Session Committee report and a solution that the Commonwealth can um, make to uh, based on the principle of no independent without majority rule in Rhodesia. And this discussion for the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting in London uh, was focused uh, that the Prime Minister meeting considered that to, that to transfer sovereignty to a racial minority as the result of agreement which this minority would settle nothing if the settlement was not freely accepted by the people of Rhodesia as a whole. And the community, the meeting welcomed statement uh, that the British government policy in no independent before majority rule remain unchanged. Um, that uh, the what sorry um, the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting uh, also consists with the African states but the Rhodesia which is now known is, uh, as a Zimbabwe in the 1960s and the previous under colonial uh, under the British government. So the problem is the British government do not have any power towards the internal uh, politics in Rhodesia uh, because Rhodesia was governed by the illegal regime by the white minority, not black majority. And in my research uh, for the temporary that I still in my progress, my preliminary findings that I suggested here the crucial issue was not to be discussed as a single issue in the submit meeting. The crucial issue also should not to be discussed as a first item of the agenda. It should be the second or third item of the agenda of the submit meeting because the order of the agenda items did not determine their level of importance. And third, 
The crucial issue should be discussed together with other item issue. It's not to be discussed as a single issue. And the, uh, the summit meeting duration should include the weekend. It's not um, my intention that the international summit meeting should not discuss only during the weekdays. It should include the weekend as well. And then a draft of community should be circulated to all leaders at the end of the final day and should be finalised as the final community after the summit meeting is closed. And I also recommend that the international summit meeting should consist the element of consensus is an appropriate approach that lets leaders achieve agreement during the summit meeting. And my conclusion here is changing views and a consensus among leaders help to achieve settlement and also preserve the unity of Commonwealth. While particular summit might have been deemed unsuccessful, to me overall, the series of the Commonwealth Prime Minister meeting summit should be deemed as a success. And last but not least, I may agree with the Churchill, Winston Churchill statement that he made uh, on 14 April 1950 that he said it was not easy to see how matters could be worsened by a party at the summit. And also last and not least, uh, try to avoid force and military action and make peace through negotiation and consensus. That's my <coughs> purpose for my research that to highlight that how the importance of summit meeting to bring peace for the world problems, not by military or by force. So the leaders have to understand the role of summit meeting to discuss about the international problem. That's all. Thank you. Um, in my preliminary findings that I say here, the summit meeting duration should include the weekend. The reason why, uh, because uh, it is to let the committee of official uh, to draft the communique during the weekend and to avoid other parties like their leaders to intervene then during the weekdays. So they can focus entirely during the weekend how uh, to draft the communique, the result of the uh, findings uh, from their leaders that they have been discussed in the previous days. So to allocate weekends during the Saturday and Sunday is better for them to <coughs> finalise before the meeting endings. And because the community is the result from the summit meeting, uh, we as a public, we want to know what the responsible of our leaders attend the meeting because we do not want the, the leaders uh, try to waste the money, try to waste the time attending the meeting but do not have any good result. So as a public, as a nation, I want my leaders to attend the meeting and I want to know what the result from the meeting. So that's the purpose to include the weekend.